Fleet TV Plus. This is morning news. Here are the headlines. Shetima meets Chinese president. Senate confirms Olukoyedi as EFCC chairman. Sanwulu kicks off construction of $100 million film city. Biden in Israel on solidarity visit. Now the news. The president of China, Xi Jinping, on Wednesday met with Vice President Kashim Shetima at a bilateral meeting in Beijing. Sane Wokocha, Shetima's media aide, said in a statement that during the meeting, the Chinese president pledged increased investment in Nigeria's power generation and digital economy and called for the protection of Chinese nationals working in Nigeria. He stated that he would, in turn, ensure that the Nigeria-China bilateral relation is more robust than before. According to the statement, President Jinping promised that China would enhance political support and build cooperation in all fields, just as he appreciated Nigeria's support of One China policy. Meanwhile, the Senate on Wednesday confirmed Ola Lukoyede as the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission (EFCC). The Red Chamber also confirmed the appointment of Muhammad Amajoda as the secretary of the Anti Graft Agency. The confirmation of both men followed their screening by the Upper Chamber on Wednesday afternoon, about a week after they were appointed by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The Senate also screened and confirmed the appointment of Ali Masheu as the Chief Executive Officer of the National Social Investment Program Agency, NSIPA. The President had on October 12, 2023, appointed Olukoyede and Hamajoda as Chair and Secretary to the Commission, respectively. In other news, the Lagos State Governor Bajide Sonwolu on Wednesday performed the groundbreaking ceremony of the $100 million Lagos Film City. The film city, which is located on the 100 hectare land area at Ikosia during the area of Ekpe local government area, is a public private partnership model which will create numerous job opportunities, stimulate economic growth, and attract investment. This disclosure is contained in a post by the special assistant to the governor on new media, Jibril Jawad, on his official Twitter account on Wednesday, October 18, 2023. This is coming less than two weeks after Governor Sanwolu initially revealed that the groundbreaking ceremony of the Lagos Film City will be performed before the end of October. The Film City will be a hub for film production, visual effect, scripting, cinematography, editing, photography, and all the ancillary services that support the filmmaking process.
finally on the news, United States President Joe Biden landed in Israel Wednesday on a solidarity visit following Hamas attacks under the shadow of a deadly blast at a Gaza hospital that has inflamed regional tensions. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu personally welcomed Biden on the tarmac, putting his arms around the United States President, who then claps his hands around Netanyahu in a sign of the newfound bond between the two leaders. Under unusually tight security even for the United States President Biden and Netanyahu chatted briefly on the tarmac at Ben Gurion Airport surrounded by their guards before their motorcade set off for a Tel Aviv hotel where they were old tax. Hundreds of armed police and troops were stationed around the seafront Tel Aviv hotel where Netanyahu and Biden will meet with armed snipers on the roofs of nearby villas. Thanks for joining our news broker. Subscribe on our channel for latest updates of Payamilu Women reporting. Play TV Plus.